we humans think we're pretty clever, <laughs> don't we? Oh, we're so amazing. But I'm going to give you five things, five examples uh, of ways that we actually don't know anything. And perhaps we should. E what? Bear with me. <laughs> Let me explain. I've got five items here. Number one, everything's been done before. The scenes change, but people's behaviors and results don't. Hmm? Uh, historian Niall Ferguson said, the dead outnumber the living 14 to 1, and we ignore the accumulated experience of such a huge majority of mankind at our peril. What this means, there are more dead people in history than all the people alive now. About 14 people, 14 times the number of people are dead already, and only one time are living. In other, so what? In other words, we should be historians. Uh, you know, um, there's nothing actually new that we haven't, that our ancestors haven't had to deal with. Um, and what does it say here? They, people's behaviors and their results don't change. Uh, if you think about all the wars and fighting that goes on in the past, well, it still continues today. We like to think that we are superior, but it doesn't. Look at Ukraine and Russia and have we really learned anything? So don't be arrogant is the message. In fact, all of these really mean don't be arrogant. Don't think you're so special or we are so special. We're actually not. Have some modesty. <laughs> uh, number two, allow room for error in everything. If you ask yourself, what if I'm wrong before you do anything important and set up a plan B in case everything goes wrong, you will survive almost any crisis. Uh, this is kind of good advice for investing in things, you know. You may say, oh, I think uh, the Japanese economy will grow 20% next year, and you invest all your money. But what if you're wrong? Perhaps you shouldn't invest all your money, you know. Always have a plan B. And then, if something goes wrong, it's not, it's not the end of the world. So that's it, have a plan B. You expect things to go this way, but they might not. Oh, yay. <laughs> More of this about how stupid we are. Number three, assume that you know nothing. You have to guess that you know nothing. Your personal experiences make up maybe 0.0000000001% of what's happened in the world, but maybe 80% of how you think the world works. In other words, just because it has happened or hasn't happened to you, does not mean that it affects other people as much as it did you. Just because you have had a terrible thing happen to you does not mean that everybody has that. Or just because, you know, like the opposite, when something great happens, like uh, you, on YouTube, there's lots of advice from millionaires and billionaires. Oh, if you want to make money, just do like I did. Blah, 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 blah. But the reality is what happens to you is a very, very, very small percentage of what happens in the world. So basically, you kind of know nothing. So you shouldn't let it make you 80% of your choices based on your own personal experience. That's an interesting idea, isn't it? I don't know what else you can do. We can only live our personal experiences unless you read books. Anyway, uh, number, number four. The average person today lives a longer, easier, more luxurious life than kings and queens of 100 years ago. Really? Think about it. We have massive advances in medicine, technology, and entertainment that previous generations could barely imagine. Perhaps we shouldn't complain about our lives. Um, yeah, our life. The point is today, we may think, oh, our life is so difficult. My life is so bad. Well, maybe. But uh, we have a longer life expectancy. We will live a longer time. We have maybe nicer homes. We have a better diet, better food. Um, certainly in Japan and, and Europe and America than almost any time in history. And if you think about 100 years ago, how kings and queens lived, we eat, we eat almost as good food as they do. Um, and we live longer because we have better medicine. Um, and our houses are warmer, maybe, and better quality air. I, I don't know. There are many ways we are better. Education is better. 
we know so much more technology is better so if you think you've got a miserable life just be happy that you weren't born 100 years ago or 500 years ago my goodness life was very tough then uh number five is a strange one ideas are ten a penny how you use them is what matters ten a penny oh i'll ask you about that in a moment um think about it uh, a new way of explaining something that we already know is more powerful than teaching something new this is because it generates the aha moment without asking uh, people to strain their brain what um, the point here is that we think that ideas are very important and they, they are important and that they are unique but actually there are very few unique special ideas most ideas you've heard before uh, what is new is how we present them and what we do with those ideas you know it's very easy to have uh, an idea about oh i'm gonna you know what would make a fun novel or a fun book i know an adventure story involving climbing a mountain okay i've heard that idea before we can all have good ideas but tell it to me in an interesting way and that's difficult so ideas are cheap um doing the thing is expensive is difficult or unusual so five examples of things we didn't know or we don't know or how little we know uh okay i got five uh, no three three questions okay well related to the to the first one everything's been done before number one what things did our ancestors already know that we've had to relearn what things did people before us in the past what did they know that we maybe forgot and then had to learn again huh <laughs> i'm not sure how to answer that one i don't want to say anything because i want you to think of a way to answer that Number two, do you have a better life now than kings and queens of old, the old days? Do you think so? Do you think your life is better than kings and queens? How? How is it better? Or is it worse? And number three, do you think ideas are ten a penny? Uh, ten a penny. Oh, sorry, I was going to explain that. Wasn't I? Ten a penny means easy to get, cheap, easy to find. Oh, you can get ten of these for one penny. Do you think ideas, in other words, ideas are easy to to have i don't know this is all about what we know and what we don't know but anyway five examples of how little we know please tell me about uh, how little you know okay good luck have a think about some of these questions and we'll uh, have a chat when i see you next okay thank you very much thank you oh, oh, oh. turn this off <laughs> Thank you.